Okay, so we got a little project today. Stopped by with uh, Danny. Uh, he forgot his camera, so he's gonna run home and get his camera. But we went by Lowe's and we picked up some materials. Uh, close to 100 bucks worth of stuff. We got uh, some two by fours, some four by fours, and some uh, one by 12 by six. We're gonna make a little project for, uh, for tubs. Um, got some uh, hardware that's in the back of the truck and we're gonna work on it there. <laughs> More to come, stick around. Yes, okay, so we're all set up here. We just got the stickers off of the wood and uh, staples out of different places. There is a couple staples on this two by fours I wanna to remember to get out on the corner. Um, we got the four by fours over here. We're gonna measure and cut those. Uh, we've got the chop saw ready to, uh, to make those cuts. Uh, we're also gonna make some 45 degree cuts, which that can do perfectly. Um, we've got the garage set up for everything we need to do. Uh, I took the chairs off this morning for anybody who gives a crap. Uh, I took the chairs off and they look great. Um, they're dry. I'm going to do a fine grit on the seating area and then do another coat and they should be ready to go for Quaid. Quaid, if you're watching this, buddy, chairs are looking awesome. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna have a little bit of coffee and tell some lies and get started. All right. Okay, so we cut these at, uh, what do you say, 42 inches? and then uh, use the grinder to kind of grind off the sides so that nobody gets snagged on any of these splinters that tend to spring up whenever you're uh, dealing with cut wood. And then we rounded off the corners of this interesting piece of board uh, with the angle grinder as well, again, so that we can cut down on the amount of splinters that people get. So now we're gonna kind of fashion it up, frame it together, see what it looks like and go from there. It's like that, he's filming wood. Dude. It's not even complete sentences. Talk to Don't hey everybody. We're making wood stuff. Is this your channel? It, it could be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we did a couple things here. We were able to level everything on one end to kind of get an idea of how to do our 45 degree angle. We did some anchor bolts with these beautiful lag bolts right here. Um, used a T30 to put it in and got it 45 degrees plumbing. He's doing, my, he's doing my hand, look at him. He's, he's YouTube and me, YouTube and him. So anyway, we did the 45 degree angle, got everything perfect. Went ahead and put this in place. We have a support here so that we add a little, little bit of extra structural support holding these in place. The idea is we want to get all this flush and level and at a 45 degree angle. These are our tops that are gonna go on here. This is ready except for, we gotta put our brackets. This is gonna be our 45 degree angle bracket that's gonna go into the metal like this basically so again this is in here in the wood also to give it a little extra structural support we've got to go we've got to put this on top we got to put this on here and then we're going to put this at tubs uh, everything needs to be gone over with the da sander so that nobody gets any uh any splinters or whatnot we have been using the angle grinder with a flat disc on it in order to get the desired texture so that the rough edges were, were, were gone as much as possible so we wouldn't get splinters while we're working on it. But um, we're plumb, baby. I like it. Very nice. It's a good start. So this nerd's getting some video. Um, we've got some tops right here. These are gonna get a little bit more just- Sanding. Casual sanding, trying to clean things up a little bit. Right now we've got super awesome, these are the bodies. So this is actually kind of how they're gonna be sitting. This is the whole frame. So they're gonna be against uh, eight inch steel beams. And so we've got the brackets for that. Um, these are actually coming together very nicely. I'm pretty excited. How do you feel about this? We're good. I'm, I'm happy. Um, I'm really tickled at the 45 degree angles and the 90 degree angles coming out perfect and plumb. Uh, and I think it's very secure. Uh, I want to put these on there so that, that part's done with. I, I want to be able to take this up there with it somewhat done um, to the point that we can just drill into the metal and, and, and attach it and be done. Um, yeah, basically just do like a really quick wham bam install this is sturdy it's uh well put together it's not going anywhere anytime uh i think we're all right i think we're I think we're fantastic yeah i mean i'm not mad about it so mm -mm. Nope. i think it's gonna look 
really sexy once it's installed. Yep. But this is what they're gonna look like. And holy smokes. It's I gonna be beautiful. Happy. Yeah. I like it. It's gonna be sturdy. It's yep. sanded so no one's get a splinter. And uh painted it's, to it's match pretty. out on the deck. Which is kind of a shame because I really like the way this wood looks. But Hey Danny, you wanna talk about what we've done? So sorry, I'm hitting a trash can. That's fine. Um so we went ahead and uh, basically trued this out, uh, drilled pilot holes, countersunk the screws, and then dropped the screws in there. Yep. Um, nice and flat. Super flat, super, super nice. And now I'm just going through and basically just hitting, oh, just hitting some wood filler on all of these screw heads just because I'm obsessive compulsive. And I'm taking notes because I never do that. And it does make it look prettier. And so this is... The re the main reason I'm doing this is, to be honest with you, because it's getting painted. Um, I'd like this surface to be as flat as possible. And so... I just want it to look nice. I'm going to do this. Give it a few minutes to dry. I'm going to go back and hit all of these holes again. Because this wood filler is actually going to dry into itself a little bit and I want it to be a uh, slightly proud of the wood so I can sand it back down to flush. Cool. Um, this is, this is actually a really fun experience because I work a lot more obsessively than Josh does. <laughs> and so he's gotten to call me out on a few things and be like, dude, it's not that big of a deal, which is healthy for me because otherwise I'll just get carried away and making everything super, perfect and obsessive and that's not always the smartest way to work and likewise i i tend to be a little more reckless so sometimes it's good for me to learn some uh more meticulous ways of doing it so that i clean up everything and make it look pretty like this wood filler for example this is a good example of how you know just that little step of filling in the wood and it it looks so much better that way than with the, the screws exposed so very nice yeah well i came I came a little bit more from a, like a Finnish carpentry background. Um, from Finland, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you so much. Dad jokes. Come on. So much. You love um, it. That was awesome. And so for me, like, this is like, why would I do a project and not fill it in with wood filler? You know, it's, it's very, just, this is what you do for wood projects. So that is always healthy for me to see a different way of doing things. And this is why I'm, this is why I like working with different people. Okay. I want to learn new processes and get called out on some of mine that are quite frankly ridiculous. All so, right, I'm gonna stop now. That sounds good. Okay. Drill, uh, drill bits trying to get something inside of the uh, hole here. Uh, it's been very tough to cut through this steel. These steel beams are really, really tough. I've got one drill bit here that broke. Uh, the, the rest of it's on the inside. And um, none of these are cutting through this like we would hope. It's very, very difficult. So, Okay, so this is Tubbs outdoor seating area. This is where we're gonna be uh, installing these. And we've tried to drill through this with uh, not much luck. And we've had to reevaluate how we're gonna get them secured and how we're gonna drill the other holes for over there. Um, our initial goal was to put these in the hole, have them separate, and when you put the screw through, it, it connects to the inside of this, and that would anchor it so that it doesn't go anywhere. This is probably not gonna work out. We're gonna try something a little different. Mainly because we can't seem to get the holes big enough, and then when we do, the screw won't fit through the mechanism and through then our uh, angle here. So we're gonna try something different. But this is just giving you an idea of where we're at right now. And we're gonna call it a day because it's getting late and it's Sunday. So yeah, that's it.